with Blitzkrieg Bop. Good morning, distance learning with Philly. I brought up punk rock today because it's important. It is the number one thing I can think about to show your individualism and pushing back on the system. Oh, that's great, Philly. You always tell us that. What about the real world? So you're saying that there may be pressures to sell out as you get into the real world? I'll buy that. Today we're going to talk about how to not sell out and retain who you are in the bigger system. Okay, we all love individuals. We think of people who are individuals like Rosa Parks. I'm not sitting in the back of the bus. Okay, Ben Franklin. No, I'm going to fly kite with a key on it. Who cares? Okay, these people are innovators and they're individuals. We always want to know more. These are This is what we really preach in school is be a better person. One vote, one voice, freedom, the whole idea of individualism, freedom to do whatever you want. And then what do we do? We slap you in a classroom, we ring a bell every 52 minutes, and we make you scurry in three minutes to go to another class, then another bell, and then another bell. Well, there was order to that, and I'm going to explain it in a little bit. But first, our joke of the day. Always give 110%. Unless you're applying for a job as a statistician, because 110% really doesn't exist. All right, let's talk about the order that we see in society. Um, Frederick Taylor is going to be our joke of the day today. I think he's, I, I hesitate to use the word evil, but he, I'm going to give you the quote and then explain him. In the past, man has been first. In the future, the system must be first. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That is going completely away from individualism. Taylor had a system called scientific management where he studied how to make people more efficient. People, and that meant profits, okay? Henry Ford used a lot of Frederick Taylor. He would time everything. How long does it take to do this? How long can people pay attention? Turns out it's about 53 minutes. That's why your classes are 53 minutes. Okay, that's the real world, okay? The rubber hits the road somewhere. Now, I want you to be an individual, okay? I want you to always have new ideas, always be yourself, but then you got to get a job. You got to go to class. You can't just sit in the back of the classroom and stand on the desk and recite, you know, Ramon's lyrics. I'll like that, but then I'll, at some point I'm going to say, sit down, we have stuff to do. We are groups, whether it's a group in your classroom, a group in your family, into the bigger society or town. You have to figure out how to be an individual and fit into that group. Be the best person you can be always first. Always be the best person you can be. And then be the best at what you do. But can you still retain that fight for what you think is right in the middle of society? Yeah, you can. So I hope I've taught you a little bit that it's not selling out to become part of society and fitting in a little bit. You just have to find the way to have it work for you to still have that freedom, that inventive spirit, that individual free-thinking thought. You can do it. You can do it.